सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द गेट प्रीवियस ईयर 2021 ऑफ थर्मोडायनामिक्स दिस क्वेश्चन वाज आस्क्ड ऑफ टू मार्क्स राइट सो लेट अस गो थ्रू द क्वेश्चन एंड सी व्हाट दे आर आस्किंग सो देयर इज एन एडियाबेटिक वॉर्टेक्स ट्यूब नो व्हाट इज अ वॉर्टेक्स ट्यूब वॉर्टेक्स ट्यूब इज अ वेरी सिंपल रेफ्रिजरेशन इक्विपमेंट इन व्हिच हाई प्रेशर एयर इज सप्लाइड and uh, we get two streams of air one cold and one hot stream right how that works is a refrigeration principle but uh, that is the device here which we have to analyze so uh, we have this vortex tube uh, which is shown in the figure given below and this is supplied with 5 kg per second of air so there is a supply of 5 kg per second of air here fine so what i am doing is i am with the dashed line specifying my control volume control volume means whatever is inside this will be my area of interest so we have the entry condition given at uh, given as condition 1 so this i am mentioning as my control volume fine so 5 kg per second this is m dot 1 is 5 kg per second mass is entering inside this is the entry air uh, at 500 kilo pascal this is the pressure and this is the temperature two separate streams of air are leaving the device outlet 2 and 3 hot air leaves the device uh, at 3 kg per second from outlet 2 so here m dot 2 is 3 kg per second this is m dot 2 is 3 kg per second uh, at 100 kilo pascal and 340 kelvin while 2 kg of cold air so from here there is cold air leaving from outlet 3 at this condition so this is m dot 3 and this is equals to 2 kg per second fine now this is a uh, adiabatic vortex tube that means there is no heat transfer from outside so the any heat transfer from this device is zero because they have mentioned it to be adiabatic right now if we uh, see what they are asking is consider constant specific heat of air as this and gas constant is given to be this there is no work transfer across the boundary of this device and the rate of entropy generation is and we have to uh, write it in kilowatt per kelvin so if we write uh, the change in entropy equation uh, for this device and i will assume it to be working under steady state why steady state because there is nothing being stored here right whatever enters leaves so if air enters at certain condition uh, there may be some change in the condition of the air but it leaves it does not get stored in the device so the entropy of the device is not changing entropy generation even if it takes place that is going out uh, with the outgoing air it is not being stored so if we write the ds by dt that is the rate of change of entropy so ds by dt is the rate of change of entropy of the control volume so any rate of change of entropy of the control volume can be because of the entropy inlet rate and minus because of the entropy exit so entropy inlet will increase the entropy entropy exit will try to reduce the entropy but at the same time we can say that we can say that there can be entropy generation also there can be entropy generation also so any entropy generation taking place inside the control volume will try to increase the entropy of the control volume so entropy entry with the entry mass entropy generation both of them will try to increase the entropy entropy exit will try to reduce the entropy if it is a steady state if it is a steady state any change in entropy or any property in fact for the control volume will be zero if it is a steady state nothing gets stored here with time nothing is changing inside with time whatever enters it changes it leaves but this control volume is maintained as it was so the this becomes zero is equals to entropy inlet so how the entropy inlet mass enters m dot suppose the condition at which the mass enters is uh it brings s1 entropy with itself s1 is the entropy of the unit mass the condition at which it is entering fine uh, plus entropy generation this is what we have to find out minus so entropy exit the mass is exiting at condition 2 so some mass exits at condition 
per unit mass whatever the condition is let us say its entropy is small s2 minus m dot into per unit mass whatever the entropy is let us say it is s3 so this is m dot 3 right now this mass m dot 1 is 5 and this is m dot 2 is 3 and this is equal to 2. Now see here we know the formula for writing the change in entropy of the gases. So I will write this equation in such a manner that we get the expressions for change in entropy. So what I am going to do is I am going to write this 5 as equal to 3 plus 2. I will write it as 3 plus 2. See what will happen? So this will be 0, this will be equal to entropy generation, entropy generation rate and this 3 I can take as common plus 3 into 3 into what I can write is S1. So if I take 3 as common, so it will be 3 into S1 plus 2 into S1, right? So from 3 into S1, I have taken 3 common, so I will get S1. And from here also I have taken 3 as common, so I will get S2. So S1 minus S2 plus 2 into S1. It is 2 into S1. So if I take 2 as common, so I will get 2 into S1. If I take this 2 as common, so minus S3. I will get this. I will get this. So from entropy generation equation, what I can get is, I can write uh, the entropy generation rate will be equal to so, if I take this on the other side, it will be 3 into uh, the sign will get changed. So, it will be S2 minus S1 plus. So, this also it will become minus sign. So, it will the expression will change to S3 minus S1. It will be like this, right? Now, if we uh, find out the change in entropy. So, S2 minus S1 how to write the change in entropy for the ideal gas so we know the pressure and temperature so cp ln t2 by t1 cp ln t2 by t1 minus r so what i'll do is i'll calculate this separately here let me calculate this separately here so s2 minus s1 let me calculate this here s2 minus s1 so if i calculate s2 minus s1 i can write it to be cp ln t2 by t1 t2 by t1 minus r ln p2 by p1. Now what they have given is they have given the standard values of cp and r. So I can use the standard values uh, which will be equal to cp is 1.005. This is 1.005 log of so this unit will be in kilojoule. So log of t2. Now what is the temperature at 2 here? At 2 the temperature is 340 Kelvin. Here the temperature is 340 Kelvin. So we have 340 Kelvin and the pressure is 100 kilopascal. It is 100 kilopascal. And at outlet 3, it is 100 kilopascal and 240 Kelvin. So it is 240 Kelvin and 100 kilopascal. And what is at inlet? At inlet, it is 500 kilopascal. So here it is 500 kilopascal and 300 Kelvin. 300 Kelvin at condition 1. Fine. So, if I have to write the uh, change in entropy S2 minus S1, so I can write log of T2. So, what is the temperature at 2? It is 340 Kelvin. It is 340. What is the temperature at 1? It is 300. 300 minus R. So, minus it is 0 0.287. Log of what is the pressure finally? It is 100 kilopascal. P2 is uh, 100 kilopascal and what is P1 is 500 kilopascal. P1 is 500 kilopascal. So I can calculate this value. I can calculate this. It is uh, 1.005 into log of 340 divided by 300, right? So minus 0 0.287 into uh, log of we have this so zero point this is coming out to be 0 0.58769 so 5877 uh, let us say this is the value right so similarly we can calculate the value of s3 minus s1 so i'll calculate the value of s3 minus s1 if i calculate the value of s3 minus s1 here 
it will again come out to be 1.005 log of final temperature will be s3 instead of t2 it will be t3 so it will be t3 that is 240 so 240 upon initial temperature is t1 that is 300 minus r that is 0.287 log of it will be pressure is 100 and this is 500 so let me calculate this value also so it is 1.005 log of we have 240 divided by 300 minus we have this point 287 log of 0.2376 so the unit here will be kilojoule per kilogram kelvin and same kilojoule per kilogram kelvin fine so if we keep these values here if we keep these values here so we will get entropy generation rate as 3 into 0 0.5877 plus 2 into uh, 0.2376 so it will come out to be 2.2383 so unit will be in uh, this is kilogram per second and this is kilojoule per kilogram kelvin so kilogram kilogram will cal cancel so kilojoule per second uh, per kelvin kilojoule per second kel per kelvin so it will be kilowatt per kelvin it will be this value so we uh, have to write it uh, they are asking it to round off to one decimal place right so round off to one decimal place that means it is 2.2 .2. this should be our answer 2.2 .2 should be our answer fine so for this the answer which we will write is 2.2 .2. fine so this is the entire solution we can please take this i'll just show you the question here the question here and uh, then i'll show you the uh, entire solution which I have done. This is the entire solution. Fine, please take this.